Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD, and yes, part four of our, our MDT 2013 Preview 1 with Windows 10 Deployment Series. And on the last part, I showed you guys how to import an application within your application node. And uh, as you can see, if you guys have been following me, I kind of renamed the folder to Mozilla Firefox. Uh, it's just me being a little anal. You know. uh, today's episode is all about driver management. Now, driver management is a huge topic, and I'm not going to uh, kill your ears and talk about driver management because I already did these videos for you guys, and all the links are at the bottom of the description. You can just check out the description, and I, I broke it down into four or five scenarios that you guys could just implement on your infrastructure. Now, this video, I'm just going to show you like on the basic how to import drivers. So when you import drivers, you're going to be dropping everything inside your out of box driver node. So I'm going to go inside my uh, folder share right here. I already have some drivers that I want to import. And a lot of people like to build their out of box drivers node into like folders. I love doing that to break everything down. A lot of people like to do it by model. So if you're do dealing with like a Dell Octiplex 9010, you would create a folder called Dell. Octiplex 9010 or you could do it by then it's really up to you so I'm going to create a broad com folder because that's the kind of drivers that I'm going to import so let's create a new folder uh, I'm going to call it broad com you could do it caps lower case it's up to you you could give it a comment who cares let's hit next hit next and finish so this broad com folder is where I'm going to drop all my broad com drivers into so let's right click import drivers uh, we need to pick the directory uh, source of where all the drivers are located so I'm gonna browse that and my stuff is actually located in my share folder and there it goes now if you can see if you look closely the Broadcom folder has 64 bit for Vista 86 bit for Vista Windows 7 XP and all that good stuff now because you're deploying a Windows 10 operating system you have to get the Windows 10 NIC drivers or whatever uh, drivers you need to work within the Windows 10 environment. Now, this is only for just to show you guys off the bat. Because I'm running everything on a virtualized uh, environment, I really don't need any NIC uh, drivers for this to work. So I'm going to press OK and I'm going to click on Next. But before I click on Next, uh, some, sometimes if you want import drivers even if they are duplicated on the existing driver I don't like checking this off because if you have multiple drivers that are the same you're just gonna you're just gonna congest your uh, MDT server you don't want to increase the amount of stuff that you're importing into your MDT so server you want to make it as small as possible as fast as possible so I leave that unchecked let's click on next click on next it's gonna locate all the INI files inside that folder as you can see it's right here warning driver Broadcom on it does not appear to support a 64 bit as indicated so it's overriding that that's okay only one warning but I have all the Broadcom uh, NIC drivers for 86 and 64 so that's awesome and that's it guys that is how you import out of box drivers within your MDT 2012 uh, server we're dealing with Windows 10 to get this machine or get the server ready to deploy a Windows 10 machine again if you guys uh, want something more advanced there are videos at the bottom of the video at the description part that I break it down into four scenarios so you guys could check that out don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the video as well as this guy if you have any questions go check me out at Twitter follow me at Twitter because I'm always there answering all types of questions at BJ Tech News and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.